Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Let us quickly send the link to our respective partners. Let's send, let's send. Let's see. Ah, All right, I'm still alone. Ooh, I need to open my book. Okay, no static like last week. That's awesome. Let's send the link. Let's share. Good morning, partners. Good morning. Good morning. Let me just send this. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Let's please share the link with our wonderful partners. Let's share our link. Hello, hello. Hi, Ospeg. You, you are back. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> hey, Peggy. I am so happy to see you. Can we please share the link with our partners? I'm also sharing in our groups. Uh, let me send this person. Uh, training now. Good morning, good morning, partners. Let's please share the link. <clears throat> Let us please share the link. Please join us. Someone from Namibia is asking me a question. Uh, hi, Lenzimo. Lenzimo, I haven't seen you before in training. Good morning, partners. Please remember, we need to state where we are from. I'm not too bright, right? Hey, I did the, the way I used to do the trainings before. I put a bright light on. Um, how is everyone? How is everyone? I'm okay, right? It's not disaster of last week. Another disaster of last week where there was I don't know what was happening, but yeah, it was just sabotage. <laughs> Good morning, us level. Finally, you made it. Yeah, after after your exams, after your studies. Um, let's see. Okay, so that leader from uh, what is it? Uh, kind of two five four is way. Kenya side, I think. Not too sure. This is your first session. Yeah, you see, I know, I know the leaders that attend. I know you very well. Sir Richard, good morning. Leader Hamim, good morning. You see, Sir Richard, Leader Hamim, Pe Peggy was off for a while, but she was a diligent, diligent attendee. Welcome, welcome, leaders. Please remember, we send the link to our respective partners. Let us never miss trainings, please, my leaders. Uh, because you are equipped, you are well equipped. Good morning, Vivian, my darling. We are well equipped. Welcome to the Katleho. Welcome, welcome from Botswana. Yes, when you come in, we say good morning. We say where we're from, and we can be hyper like Vivian there within. <laughs> uh, okay, so I hope this leader is going to join us. So, my leaders, let's. Uh, I'll give it one more minute. Let's share with our partners because remember, when you know your product, you are very effective out there on the field. Very, very effective. Welcome, Oz Granny. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Please, let's remember to send the link again. We'll start in a minute in 1909. We'll start. So, we are talking about fibre and we are also discussing World Diabetes Day, which will be this coming. Sunday. Okay. On the 14th of November. Uh, I hope I didn't miss any groups. Let me just send to the long reach group. Let me just send there as well. Yeah. Wonderful. Welcome, my leaders. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. So we, yes, call them, Oslebukhan. Call them. Unalina. Lirangao, welcome, welcome. Dayemi, oh, are you watching from Zim? Welcome, my leader, welcome. So today we are discussing it. I must go on Facebook as well, remember, because sometimes I miss certain things. My leaders, 
Most important question, how are you finding these trainings the last couple of months? Are you going back? Are you referring back to the trainings so that you are effective? Are you reading any of the PDFs that uh, we've been sharing throughout since last year? Are you um, where you want to be regarding product knowledge? Are you where you want to be regarding product knowledge? Dida Ruweda, welcome, Dida Shep. You're watching from Boxburg in South Africa. So uh, you're just my neighbor. I'm there just now. I don't have to fly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Dida Lenzimi, you're watching from Cameroon. Wow, that's amazing. Call your partner's leadership, Dida Lenzimi. You can even call your prospects. You can even call your family. You, you can call everybody. Because today's topic, especially today's topic, Every man and woman has to be here, even if men, you don't go through five breaths <laughs> because, yeah, you don't have what we have. But if you love your partner, if you love your sister, your aunt, you know, your, your, the female woman in, 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 in your family, you need to be here. Plain and simple. So let's see. So my leaders, okay, let me start. So I will start with... Which one do you want me to start with? With the fibroids or the diabetes? But diabetes is one, two, three, because I've spoken about diabetes for so many. Yo, I've literally outspoken. I've spoken about diabetes to death. Let me say it like that. Thank you, Dida Granny. You see what? Oh, okay. Now it's it's okay. Okay. Good morning, uh, PS Pulan and leaders local and internet. Ah, that's so nice of you, Mpilo, to recognize our partners from international. Welcome, welcome. Leader Muzi, welcome, welcome. All right, my leaders. So the, the first thing that I'm going to advise you today, hey, my leaders, uh, I forgot to also share to uh, a client of mine, so let me do it quickly. The first thing I am going to share with you uh, regarding uh, long reach, our besides the compensation plan, you know, we, we've got an awesome com compensation plan, right? But our products are the backbone of our business. You, you can say whatever you want, but I'm telling you, if you know your products, uh, you, you won't, you won't be ha hassled. Because I sell products at, at such a rate, I was able to open up two businesses, not just one, you know? So it shows that I'm, I'm doing something, you know? The, 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 and the businesses that are open are investments, you know? They'll be able to also fund Long Reach and Long Reach will fund it, you know? So we need to really um, educate ourselves when it comes to welcome leader Nozi, welcome, welcome. You from Cape Town, welcome leadership. So you, you really need to honestly learn the product. And when I say learn the product, I mean, you can even go as deep as me or even much deeper, okay? It's a favor unto yourself. Because a lot of um, leaders don't attend trainings, unfortunately. Now, when you don't attend trainings, it means you're not well equipped to do um, to, to work at your optimum when you're out there on the field. There is nothing disheartening as much as a leader that's on the field that will be calling me or calling us in the WhatsApp groups asking about a certain illness which, we've, which I have personally trained about. And, and, and I train countlessly. I haven't spoken on fibroids. This is the first time I'm teaching on fibroids. That 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 is, is we can say okay you didn't know about fibroids but the other stuff high blood pressure sugar diabetes you know um piles ulcers and there's different kinds of ulcers but you know you get the stomach ulcers you get that ulcer here you know such things are what most of our of our people go through and then you ask us in the groups and we've been I've been training and training you the whole year you don't attend trainings. You don't check your messages. You don't check the PDFs. And that is why I stopped sharing the PDFs in the groups because I realized that leaders don't read. 
and now I charge you. <laughs> so my leaders, let us start. Let us start. Welcome, leader Judy. Leader Oliswa. Welcome, welcome, my leaders. Leader Rosie, you are from Sosha. Ah, when I hear you are local. You're also almost next door. <laughs> I don't have to fly to you. So my leaders, let me start. Um, let's start with our end with sugar diabetes. Okay. Um, let us start with the uterine fibroid. I am going to please have your pen and paper, <laughs> your pen and your book. Today I've got my big book, my big long list book. Ne? Because there was just, yeah, there was just too much today. So I'm going to give you a few statistics as to why you can't hear. You, you can't hear. No, little Richard, I'm, I'm loud and clear. I can hear myself here. So maybe check on your side. Yeah, no, I can hear myself on, on Facebook, Lila Richard. So I'm not too sure on your side what's happening. But I can hear myself. Uh, is there any other leader having a problem with uh, hearing me? But I can hear myself on my phone. Welcome, Lila Puset. So you are from Lesotho. Dumela <laughs> Wanamme. Lila Krena from Botswana. Welcome, leaders. Okay, so. Um, on, on, on the fibroids, ladies and gents, <sighs> fibroids are scary, guys. No, Lila Richard, I, I, I can hear myself. I can hear myself. Myself. I'm not too sure why you can't hear me. I can definitely hear myself. Welcome, Senzeni. Welcome, welcome. I can hear myself. Loud and clear. I can hear myself. So, did I reach it, the problem? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Vivian. Thank you, my darling. So, I'm not sure with, with Richard what's the problem. He needs to check on his side. Okay, my leaders. So, fibroids. They are rife, okay? The fibroids are rife. The statistics are alarming. Thank you, Ospeji. Thank you so much. The statistics are alarming when it comes to fibroids. Welcome, Lida Simisola. They are, you know what? Um, I think we, we, we know that there's a lot of women, right, on earth there's like more more women than men right and 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 the problem is <laughs> with fibroids it will affect up to 70 percent of all women of all women by menopause up to 70 percent of all women no matter your color no matter your race okay so i hope you've got your pen i've got i guess you we write statistics remember this is class <laughs> now I expect y'all to write down Okay, so welcome, Lida Felicity. Is it Felicity or Felicite? I hope I'm, it looks like Felicity, but it's spelled a, a bit different, Felicite. So my leaders, by, 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 by the time you are menopause, at least 70% of you will have had fibroids, no matter your color. But here's the problem. Even if it's no matter the color, uh, in black females, Fibroids, uterine fibroids are three to four times higher in occurrence. Three to four times higher. So let me read this for you quickly. I'm going to go fast, 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 fast. We, we are reading, we, we are writing down. I don't know what's happening now. What? Okay, now, okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay. So let's talk about uterine. Fibroids, you can make a shorthand UF. So overview, uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths, so they are not cancerous, non-cancerous growths of the uterus that often appear during childbearing years. Also called leiomyomas or myomas, uterine fibroids aren't associated with an increased risk of uterine cancer and almost never develop into cancer. 
All right. Fibroids range in size from seedings, undetectable by the human eye, to bulky masses that can distort and enlarge the uterus. You can have a single fibroid or multiple ones. In extreme cases, multiple fibroids can expand the uterus so much that it reaches the rib cage and can add weight. Yes, ladies and gents. Many, let me just put my volume down. Okay. Many women have uterine fibroids sometimes during their lives, but you might, but you might not know you have uterine fibroids because they often cause no symptoms. Your doctor may discover fibroids incidentally during a pelvic exam or prenatal ultrasound. You see why we also have to do our annual checkups. Mm -hmm. So here are some symptoms. All right, many women who have fibroids don't, ha don't have symptoms. In, in those that do, that do have symptoms, um, symptoms can be influenced by the location, size, and number of fibroids. Please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember we ask questions at the end of the training when I give you the floor, okay? It's, I saw that there's new leaders, right? The leader from Cameroon. So in women who have symptoms, the most common signs and symptoms of uterine fibroids include the following. There are seven, uh, seven symptoms, okay? The first one, heavy menstrual bleeding, all right? Heavy menstrual bleeding. The second one, menstrual periods lasting more than a week. Menstrual periods lasting more than a week. The third one, pelvic pressure or pain. Pelvic pressure or pain. The fourth one, frequent urination. All right, frequent urination. The first one, difficulty emptying the bladder. Difficulty emptying the bladder. All right, that, that also reminds me of men and prostate. Hmm. Yeah, guys, we, we have a lot of work cut out for us. All right, that was the first one, difficulty emptying the bladder. The sixth one is constipation. Who would have thought constipation might be a symptom of a woman having a fibroid? Constipation. And the seventh one is backache or leg pains. So ladies, please take care of yourselves. Uh, write these symptoms down or save this training and just watch it over and over again. Even the men. Really, a fibroid can cause acute pain when it outgrows its blood supply and begins to die. Fibroids are generally classified by their location, all right? So here's a few examples. There's something called intramural fibroids. They grow within the muscular uterine wall, all right? It's called intramural fibroids, okay? Then it's submucosal fibroids. Um, submucosal fibroids bulge into the uterine cavity, and then the subserosal fibroids project to the outside of the uterus. So there's different types of fibroids, just like there's different types of, uh, like the main um, prostate cancers, there's different kinds. Um, even with the cancers, there's different types, there's different stages. So just remember that. Okay. Now, when to see a doctor? See your doctor if you have the following. Okay, there's five of them. The first one, if you're having pelvic pain that doesn't go away. Pelvic pain that doesn't go away. Secondly, overly heavy, prolonged, or painful periods. Overly heavy, prolonged, or painful periods. Third one, spotting or bleeding between periods. Spotting or bleeding between periods. Fourth one. Difficulty emptying your bladder. Okay, that was a given. Difficulty emptying your bladder. And then the first one, unexplained low red blood cell count. Unexplained low red blood, uh, low red blood cell count, otherwise known as anemia. So you need to seek prompt medical care if you have severe vaginal bleeding or sharp pelvic pain that comes on suddenly. I hope we are together, leaders. Now, moving on to the causes of fibroids. Right. Doctors don't know the cause of uterine fibroids, unfortunately. 
but research and clinical experience point to these factors, okay? So research and clinical experience point to these factors as to what may be, the, what may be causing uterine fibroids. The first one, genetic changes, okay, genetic changes. Uh, many fibroids contain changes in genes that differ from those uh, in typical uterine muscle cells, okay? Second one, hormones, hormones. Estrogen and progesterone, two hormones that stimulate development, uh, development of the uterine lining during each menstrual cycle in preparation for pregnancy appear to promote the growth of fibroids. I hope we're still together, ne? Fibroids contain more estrogen and progesterone receptors than typical uterine muscle cells do. Fibroids tend to shrink after menopause due to a decrease in hormone production. All right, so hormones is the second one. So it's genetic changes and then hormones. And then the third one is other growth factors, substances that help, them, uh, that help the body maintain tissues, such as insulin-like growth factor, may affect fibroid growth. Just, just hold on a bit. I just, let me just. Yes, my darlings, constipation, constipation. So it might be a, 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 an indication uh, of something else. Uh, so, Richard, thank you so much. You came right, ne? Thank God. Okay. Uh, they were a little bit loud here in the house. So, um, we said, well, I said, other growth factors, substances that help the body maintain tissues, such as insulin-like growth factor, may affect fibroid growth. Okay, that's the fourth, fourth one. And then the first one, one that I didn't actually think would be anywhere near there. The first one is extracellular matrix. Extracellular matrix. Um, this is the material that makes cells stick together. Okay, material that makes cells stick together, like mortar between bricks. Uh, extracellular matter is increased in fibroids and makes them fibrous. ECM also stores growth factors and, um, and causes biological changes in the cells themselves. So those are the five causes that they're, um, they're busy researching and they are doing clinical experiences on, experiments on. All right, doctors believe that uterine fibroids develop from a stem cell in the smooth muscular tissue of the uterus, which is called myometrium. A single cell divides uh, repeatedly, eventually creating a firm rubbery mass distinct from, uh, from nearby tissue. So it's very different. Uh, the growth patterns of uterine fibroids vary. They may grow slowly or rapidly, or they may remain the same size. Some fibroids go through growth spurts, and some may shrink on their own. Many fibroids that have been, uh, that have been present during pregnancy shrink or disappear after pregnancy as the uterus goes back to its usual size. Now, what are the risk factors for, um, for fibroids? All right, there are a few known risk factors for uterine fibroids other than being a woman <laughs> of reproductive age. Factors that can have an impact on fibroid development include, I don't know why I'm not seeing your comments. Okay, now I'm seeing your comments, okay. Welcome, Lida Zipo. Welcome, Lida Shape. <laughs> welcome. So, risk factors. Oh, welcome, Oath Happy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Risk factors. Um, there are a few known risk factors for uterine fibroids other than being a woman of reproductive age. Factors that can have an impact on fibroid development. Uh, what fibroid development include? You see now, now this fly is, I forgot to put on my mosquito spray. All right, factor number one is your race, the color of your skin. So although all women of reproductive age could develop fibroids, black women are more likely to have fibroids than are women of other racial groups. In addition, black women have fibroids at younger ages, and they are also likely to have more or larger fibroids along with more severe symptoms. Okay, so the first one, 
first risk factor they say is race. The second one, there's three of them. Second is heredity. If your mother or sister had fibroids, you're at is at an increased risk of developing of developing them. Welcome leader Austin, welcome leadership. And then other factors, the third one, starting your period at an early age, all right? Obesity, and guess what? A vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency, having a diet higher in red meat and lower in green vegetables. So an unbalanced diet can also be a risk factor. Um, fruit and dairy, so la, 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 let me go back. Having a diet higher in red meat and lower in green vegetables, fruit and dairy, and drinking alcohol, including beer, appear to increase your risk of developing fibroids. So, Boma girl, please, uh, less alcohol, less beer, because ladies drink beer these days. <laughs> and then complications. Although uterine fibroids usually aren't dangerous, they can cause discomfort and may lead to complications, such as a drop in red blood cells, remember anemia, which causes fatigue from heavy blood loss. Rarely a transfusion is needed due to blood loss. Yes, invite them on, invite them on. Thank you so much, leadership. So my leaders, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just that I write this website. You know what, my leaders, uh, I was on this website. Okay, you know me, I love to share. I'm going to share, with, share it with you now. But I want us to, I hope some of us have our calculators, right? I want us to go through this, these numbers together. Okay, um, where is it? Okay, remember, I me, I love stats because stats gives uh, give perspective, right? Stats they give perspective, they give you your why, why you need to a uh, even more reason for you to be a long reach distributor, right? So, world stats as at 2020, the end of 2020. Women, remember, uh, uterine fibroids only affects women, not men. So, at the end of 2020, uh, women, we were over 3.84 billion worldwide. 3.84 billion B. <laughs> we were 3.84 uh, billion. Now, when we break it down, uh, I'm not sure if there's leaders from the UK here, but I know they do watch as well. So, I have included. I, I try to encompass everyone, okay? We need to break it down for more perspective. So, United Kingdom had over 34 million females, all right? 34 million uh, females, okay? United States, so Richard, <laughs> United States, as of 2020, end of 2020, you had over 166 million females. Okay, I didn't break down break it down as to black or white. No, it doesn't matter because uterine, uh, uterine fibroids affect us all, even though it's at a higher rate when it's in a black women. Did Amakakanyo, thanks for the information. I realized that I didn't know much about, mm, really, really. Okay. Salbona is too loud. <laughs> Salbona. <laughs> Okay, so United States, you had over 166 million females as at as at uh, end of 2020. Right, I'm giving you a customer, Sir Richard. Africa, ah, uh, we we all know Africa takes the the cup. <laughs> Africa, they call us Sub-Saharan Africa, right? Trying to be smart. Africa had over hey, this number. 569 million females, 569 million females, okay? And then European Union, uh, European Union, it, 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 it encompasses Germany, you know, France, Belgium, ne? so European Un Union, English, had over 228 million females as at the end of 2020. 228 million, over 228 million. So it was actually closer to 229, but you know, let's just say six because we're just gonna do that just now. Okay, now I want 
I want to to say, hey, you know what? So, uh, what is tell me something? If 3.84 billion females, and they say, uh, the stats say, by the time we reach menopause, at least 70% of us would have had this uterine fibroids. What is 70% of 3.84 billion? Hang tight, hang tight, hang tight. Now, I want, let me read all of this actually. Uh, black women carry the burden of uterine fibroids at a much higher rate than their racial counterparts. All right, good morning, Lida Katie. Um, then I said, uterine fibroids are the most common benign tumors, so non cancerous benign tumors found in reproductive aged women of all races and may affect up to 70% of all women by menopause. Right. Now, on to the next. The highest burden of this condition affects black women, this condition of uterine fibroids. It affects um, black women at rates that are three to four times higher as when compared to their counterparts of other races. Okay. It's estimated that 70 to 80%, 70 to 80% of black women will harbor fibroids over their lifetime. 70 to 80% of us ladies that are in here and all across the world that are black will harbor fibroids, okay? Now, if we check, take your calculator. <laughs> if we check, uh, if you're looking at, let's say, Africa, they said we, are, we were 569 million, right, in Africa. Now, if you take that 569 million and you times it by that 70%, how much is it? Where, where's your calculators? Are your calculators out? <laughs> where's your calculators? I, I need someone to write the number. So 569 million times 70%. That's just for Africa. Again, I'm, are we giving you perspective here? Did you get, oh, this number is, I can't even say it. My leaders, where, where are you? Tula, calculate, Onalena, Oslebo, Zipo. What's, what's the answer? 569, let me do it again. 569. Uh, calculator. Yes, 569 million. Oh, that's the other stats. 569 million. Yes, 569 million times 70 percent. Haha. Just a little under 400 million. Hello. Just a little under 400 million 390 yes onalena that's exactly what i've got thank you my baby that is already 400 million of your customers in africa thank you z thank you coach now when you look at now i i, I try to to also look at the ages as well okay leader masrame welcome leadership <laughs> my sd5 now Women who are between the ages of 25 to 29, right, accounted for 7.75%, okay? Um, now, this is in Africa. Uh, now, 569 million times that 7.75%, we're looking at that age, right, 25 to 29. Remember, these are stats off since uh, end of 20, uh, 2020. That gives us how much? Just over 44 million of our own customers. Just over 44 million of ladies that are under the age, that are 30 and under. All right. So we have over 44 million women who probably have uterine fibroids uh, that range uh, in the ages of 25 to 30 years old. So young. Hmm? So very young. Do you see, my leaders, that we actually do have. Our clients. Now I want to try something. Uh, I want to try something. I hope it works. I hope it works. 
that's a very high number. Very, very high. Uh, Unalina, why are you not, because you were the first, where did it go now? Because you were the first, I, I will put yours there. Yes. 390, 8,300,000 uh, women will probably have uterine fibroids. Okay, now I'm going to try and share my screen with you. Now we're looking at our product. Is it showing? I hope it shows. I'm looking here on my phone as well. Okay, wonderful, it's showing. Okay, now. My leaders, there's no way you can say that we do not have customers. Because I don't have the V pink, I decided to do this. There's a product for fibroids. My esteemed partners from all across the globe, Nutri-V pink, alkaline pie cup, our cordyceps military supplement, our panty liners, our panty liners. Now, leaders, here's a question I, I, I'm going to give you. Here's a question. Now, you look at this product, right? Leader Olaju Moke, let's see. Our alkaline cup and panty liners makes my fibers degenerate, and a team member also had such and experience. Wow, Lida Ola, thank you so much for sharing your testimony. So you use the alkaline pack up and panty liner. So now I'm going to use Lida uh, Ola Jumoke as an example. Now the alkaline pack up, we sell it for what? Uh, 1,500 rand, right? Uh, South African rand. I'm not sure in Nigeria how much it is in, in the US, right? And then panty liners, we sell them depending where you are between 100 rand and 120 rand. So let's say, let's say you're not even spending 2,000 rand, okay? You're not even spending 2,000 rand. Now, how much does an op for fibroid cost? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? And remember, they differ in sizes. It depends where they are in your uterus, you know? So it means what the cost won't be the same. It's very, it's not a like a ruler type of thing that I, if it's fibroids, it's, it's I'm just giving an example, it's 50,000. No, it depends at the, at the extent of your, how big your fibroid is and where it is. So how much do you think you will spend or anybody can spend for to clear up um, their fibroid or fibroids because you can have more than one at a time. Let's stop sharing. Now I've, I've, I've done my part now. So my leaders, does anybody know how much a fibroid up costs? Oh, let me go down. Yes, Tula, that's, that's you, my darling. That is you, your counterparts. My leaders, does anybody know how much, or does anybody know of anyone that's actually gone through uh, an op for fibroids? Hola, leader Ola Jumoke. In 2012, I paid about 170,000, I suppose it's US dollars, no? for fibroid surgery and that amount would have been double by now. Yes, thank you. I like your thinking. Where are you from, Lida Ola? That 170, is it dollars? $170,000? Lida Ola? I suspect that 170,000 is, is in what what's currency or oh, naira okay right now the naira is around 30 rand so let's do 170000 times 30 rand 
All right, so 170. I like that there's someone that actually had this. 170,000 times 30. <sighs> <laughs> my leaders, are you see? Is it is it just my calculator, or I'm seeing too many zeros? Hundred and seventy thousand times thirty. We converting it. No man, is someone getting a, a different value here? Oh, kind of. It's it's my leaders. Or oh, maybe I don't know, man. You know, sometimes. I made mistakes like last time when we did the, the the whole population thing, and then tomorrow I woke up fresh. You know, I am from I worked hard today, so my mind is a little bit. It says to me, five point one, five point one million. Yeah, I am a leader. I don't know if my mess is 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 or is I'm tired. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Leader Ola, much respect to your leadership, much respect. I put my cap off for you, and I'm so grateful that you're here with us to actually give us a live and living testimony. My leaders, let's 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 give her a round of, of applause. Let's give Leader Ola a round of applause. Because fiber is, is, is like a taboo subject. And listen to that. In 2012, how long ago was that? No, 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 Zippo, we, we have two times. Remember, it's a, it, we, our currency is stronger. So it's that 170,000 times that 30 rand. Like when you take the dollar, you know, when you take the dollar, the dollar is, how much is the dollar now? I, I, I haven't done the dollar in a long time. Let's say it's 15 rand, for, for example. So my South African rand, I have to pay 15 rand to get one US dollar. So I have to times it. I to like, divide. Why do you divide? They won't they won't afford it. Maybe I'm tired. Rueda, leader, do you remember? Let me see if it shows here. Leader, do you remember that lady on the inbox? She was looking for pairs and pinty liners to get her period longer than two weeks. I sent the link to her now and told her to listen. She may have fibroids. Hey, my leader, leader Rueda, are you talking to me? I don't know. Mm -mm. I, I, I don't remember me and you having that conversation. All right, so my leaders, I've got someone divided by 30 Naira. Hey, my leaders, okay, maybe I'm tired. Because to my dollars, you need to say, oh, okay, Zippo, okay. So now, um, let's check now, how much is the, the rent to the Naira? How much, how much? Let's check. How much is the Naira to the rent? Something like that, or vice versa. We need to convert. Yeah, 0, 060. Now we're going to say how much is is the rent to the naira? Rent to naira. Let's try to get this right, leaders. We we are having a hot topic here. Okay, so um one rand is equals to am I saying right? Yeah, uh, in Nigeria, you have to spend $27, $27 mm. to get our South African rent. You have to spend $27 to get our South African rent. So if we say, so it's, it's $27.48, so we'll just say $27. So if we say $170,000, hey, my leaders, do calculator there. I'm, I, I want to see your, your uh, what do you call it, your live comments. Now, while you're doing those calculations, um, yes, I did I under. So they have to spend, or oh, oh, am I confused? I, I think I'm tired today, okay. I woke up extremely early today. So now, I, I got somebody who gave me their, their, 
their testimony. Um, her sister had fibroids in 2013. And in 2013, her sister uh, um, from Zim did the operation this side in South Africa. And her sister spent well over 100,000 rand for that op. You know, the, the traveling, the medical aid. She said medical aid was about 70,000 rand. So that's 70,000 rand. And then there were other added costs, you know, that took the, the, the whole amount to over 100,000 rand. This was in 2013. We are now in 2021. It's obviously way more. So now, it, 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 this, this is me trying to show you when we always say with uh, Code Z that we don't sell the price, we sell the product, we sell value. What can the product do for you? What value can the product do for you? The panty liner can shrink your fibroid, the, the, and so can the alkaline pickup. You know, they can also get rid of your fibroid. And what's the cost? Not even 2,000 Rand to save you from an, op, an operation that might well enough cost you 100,000 Rand or more. Okay, my leaders, we're together, right? I mean, I'm tired. Now I don't know how to do basic math. Let's, this is math. Let's. All right, my leaders, we're together, right? Okay. Now, um, like I said, on Sunday, it's World Diabetes Day. Okay, on Sunday is World Sugar Diabetes Day. Now, on that, just want to give you a 411. Because, you know, we, we need to be relevant as leaders, right? Uh, World Diabetes Day. Thank you, leaders of Uyo. Uh, World Diabetes Day, it's called WDD, was created in 1991 uh, by IDF and the World Health Organization in response to growing concerns about the escalating health threat posed by diabetes. All right, World Diabetes Day became an official United Nations Day in 2006 um, with the passage of United Nations Resolution, um, it is marked every year on the 14th of November, which is the birthday of Sir Frederick Benting, who discovered insulin along with Charles Bess in 1922. Okay, now, um, with sugar diabetes, diabetes affects people who actually have sugar diabetes. Um, it's 537 million people with diabetes worldwide. Hey, leaders, I forgot to share that link with you, uh, with the whole the females, you know, in, in, in the parts of the, uh, the world. Hey, before I do that, let me just share quickly. Okay, that's the link for where I got the stats from. Okay, it's showing. All right. Okay, my leaders. So, um, diabetes is very... I don't know, I think all of us know that diabetes is very serious. Yeah, diabetes affects 537 million people worldwide. 537. Now, remember, during the last few months, I, I've been touching on diabetes. I've been touching on diabetes. And I just say that in Africa, it affects uh, about 60% of the adult population in Africa. Why is this thing not moving now? It affects about fifth. I don't know why. I've, okay, all right. It affects about sixty percent of the African population, and in South Africa, about four million, just over four million, uh, of South Africans do have sugar diabetes, while six million are walking around not knowing that they have it. Same with high blood pressure. Remember, over one in three adults, over one in three adults have high blood. Hypertension, have high blood pressure. Over one in three adults. How many are we in here? We are 34. Counting me, we're 35. So 35 divided by three. You know? So oh, more than one in three adults do have hypertension. These are global stats. Okay. So my leaders, we do have a business case. We have a, a, a lot of products. So please, let's, let's raise awareness on, on the fibroids. We've got the alkaline pack up. We've got the Nutri-V Pink. 
Lida Zippo, Z, do we have Nitri V Pink in South Africa? The last time I checked, we didn't have, but that was a while ago, while ago. So it's the Nitri V Pink, it's the alkaline packup, it's our cordyceps military supplement, it's our panty liners. What more do we want? Oh, Senzeni, thank you so much for coming through, my leader. There, 2013, my sister had laparoscopic myomectomy surgery in Johannesburg, and the cost was over 100K. I'm just wondering how much it is now. I, I don't even want to think about it. So that was 2013. Thank you so much, Senzi, for coming through. Thank you, my baby. That is one of my uh, uh, trainees. Uh, even with Tula is a uh, product specialist trainee. Yeah, next year we're having more product specialists. <laughs> yes, yes, Una Linda, 537, 537 million people worldwide have sugar diabetes. So now think about this. How many more don't know that they have it? So we really have a business case. Remember we always say, or I always say prevention is better than cure, it's also cheaper than cure. How about, let's say in, in the case of now, because let's talk about today's mandate. I mean, you're not even going to spend 2,000 rand. Uh, our leader from Nigeria told us that she, for her fibers to shrink, she used, yeah, no need to be pink currently, so it's still like that. She used the uh, alkaline pack up, she also used the panty liners and they shrunk, she's okay now. So in South Africa, it's not even over 2,000 rand that you're gonna spend as a client or sell it to your clients. And you're saving what? Tens and tens of thousands of rands, maybe hundred, over 100,000 rand, okay? And then if we take the whole package, the whole package, including the cordyceps, you won't even spend, uh, you, guys, you won't even spend, let's say, let's say cordyceps is how much? Now I'm thumb sucking, you won't even spend 6,000 rand. Zippo, please check if, 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 if my math in my head is right because this head is very tired, you know. So you won't even spend 6,000 rand, you know. Um, and the alkaline pack-up, the nice part is that it's forever. You just buy your filter each and every year. Hi, Lida Bless Jr. Welcome, Lida. Welcome, welcome, leadership. Um, I'm not seeing that Lida um, uh, from Kenya. I don't, I'm not seeing this leader. I'm not seeing this leader. And I don't know his name. It, it looks like it's, I, I see a man on his profile. So I'm not too sure because he was asking me a question that I wanted to actually address here. Um, so my leaders, we, so you, you're gonna spend about 4.5 for the whole fibroid package. Right, so not even five thousand to save. So you see, you improve your health. You 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 save your money. Pella, now times are tough. Now times are very tough. Uh, there's a saying in 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 my language in Tswana. Oja papa oja bagalo khot. You eat maize meal, you and you eat red or mice. You know, so. We need to weigh our options as to are we looking to save money and have a poor uh, quality life, or are we looking to, yes, you're going to spend about 5,000 rand, but at the end of the day, you are improving your life. I mean, who doesn't want to live a quality life? And that's why I also started to exercise in 2019. I couldn't, there were certain things I couldn't normally do. Now I can do it like that. You know, my, 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 my lifestyle, my quality of life has really taken a 360 degree turn. There are things that I couldn't do that are normal, like standing up normally. You know, I used to be in pain just, just to stand up. I used to have a technique of standing up. You know, imagine having a technique of standing up. So yeah, we need, yes, Osma Saram, you need to choose quality over convenience. And it's, it's not even convenient. Is it convenient? You are forever in pain, you are forever in pain. How much are doctor visits? Ladies and gents, I went to my doctor two, three weeks ago, okay? I went to my doctor two, three weeks ago. I spent there over 500 rand, okay? Just to see the doctor, it was 500 rand, okay? He didn't even spend 15 minutes with me. My medication was not even 150 rand. 
but I had to pay it. I needed to see a doctor. All right. So had I had my supplements, I wouldn't even be needing to go to the doctor. But my doctor was right here in Ferenachang, and then I'm thinking, ooh, by the time I get to Long Beach, I would be flooded. So I was like, you know what? I will pay. And he didn't even spend 10 minutes with me, 10, 15 minutes. So we need to weigh. Do we want quality? Do, do we want to be in less issues? Thank you to lie. Your health is your wealth. You know, that's what we always say. So my leaders, are there any questions? I, I think I'm done. But yeah, I think I've given I've given us stats to go with. Ladies are suffering out there. Ladies are suffering out there. And on my side, to be honest, every second to third lady that I have met is suffering from fibroids. It's just that they don't want to say it like that. You know, it's taboo. You know, so let's go save our sisters. Let's go save our 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 neighbors. As kids was masram, and let's go save our neighbors. Let's go. We've got the product. Did you drink your alkaline pack up today? Remember, we've been busy here for for like fifty minutes. Mm. Fifty six, so it's fifty minutes because I started like five six minutes into. Zidangao, I have no idea, my darling. Um, can you please ask your your stalkers, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm sorry. I can't. I cannot give you an answer there. I'm so sorry. But I didn't go. Remember, you have. Um, you don't have to have need to be uh, pink. You can take the uh, for for a client that has the fibroids. You can take the 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 panty liner and the alkaline pack up. Start them there. Make it your entry level. You you have a full package. And then you give them options that, you know what, this is a full package, but let's start you with this, you know? Let's start you with this. So my leaders, are you happy? Are there any questions? Welcome, welcome, Long Reach TV Network. <laughs> are there any questions, my leaders? But I think I cleared everything up, right? So remember, go to your next door neighbors, your people at work, find out what's happening. Show them that we've got the product. Show them that we've got the product. Who is going to, in this day and age, has over 100,000 to do an op for fibroids when we've got products that are not even 5,000 rand, not even 10,000 rand that can maybe help them? Okay, so we need to know our product. That's what I always say. We need to know our product. We need to know and understand what they do so that we are effective out there in the street. Okay, my leaders? I think that's all, right? Uh, it was a short thing and a... Uh, uh, training, but thank you so much, everyone, for attending this training. Uh, let's hope next week I will be here. <laughs> let's hope next week I will be here. Otherwise, I'll do a replay. But my leaders, uh, as because Sunday is World Sugar Diabetes Day, so most probably on Monday I will do a replay of one of my trainings of diabetes. Okay, because I mean I don't understand how we are not taking our products to our patients. We've got the brown tea, we've got the uh, the cordyceps coffee, you know, the alkaline pack up. We've got the berry oil, which nobody should need, not even myself, and I need it right now, but I was busy with other things, you know, the investments. So thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know if I'll see you next week, but I will most probably try to do a replay on sugar diabetes. Here yeah, you are very late, my darling, <laughs> my partner in crime. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll meet offline. And then remember, as Tula said, your health is your wealth. Lila Mabatu, thank you so much for being here in leadership. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my leaders. Please send this training to all your people, whether it's your clients, whether it's your success line. Everybody needs to see here yeah, this training. It's really alarming and very, very scary. I mean, three to four times higher in black women. Uh -uh. That's, that's not right. We've got the products. Let's take the products to the people. Enough about beauty stuff now. Now we, we must take care of the inside. Thank you so much, leaders. I love you. Mwah! See you next week.